Hello everyone, welcome to Maggie Holmes Monday. So when I pulled out my Maggie Holmes container this for uh, this video, I realized that I have so many six by six and six by eight paper pads from Maggie Holmes, like so many of them. And a lot of them are like this gather one where it's almost complete, like it's almost done, right? Like there's not a, I've used a lot of the papers or I've punched from a lot of the papers. There aren't a ton of papers left. And so I was like, okay, for the month of June, we are going to smash some of these six by six paper pads now, for me, there's lots of ways that I could do this, especially when I'm using a Maggie Holmes paper pad because they all coordinate together, like all the patterns coordinate together and it all looks wonderful together. So you can just like break a six by six paper pad down that's almost finished and finish it, right? Pretty easy. I decided I was going to do some memory planner spreads because I'm a bit behind in my memory planner and while I don't mind that and it's totally fine with me, I have all the photos printed. They're already in place for each week. I have my journaling. I jot, you know, stories or journaling down in my functional planner. So like we're good. I, it's, it's okay if I'm behind. It's not the end of the world. Um, but I've been really trying to maybe focus on that during this month and so I thought well let's do this let's smash a six by six paper pad and simultaneously do like an entire month in my memory planner so that's what I did so this is I found a month which turned out to be May of last year that was completely undone I had never gone back never told any of the stories and so I thought well let's let's do that so what I'm gonna do is you see me here I am breaking this six by six paper pad down. I'm taking out all of the papers. Um, I'm gonna trim off like that blue one and this pink one that have um, little squares cut out of them. I'm gonna trim them all down, trim those pieces off. So I have a stack of nice scraps that are in squares or rectangles or whatever. Um, and we are going to use the whole paper pad. now. This video only has one week on it, uh, this first week, but I turned off the camera, I kept all this stuff out, and I did three more weeks with this paper pad, which made me super happy. It was a lovely little break from 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. And uh, yeah, it worked out really, really well. I was able to get four weeks done, journaled, finished kaboom I decided that I want to use this this makes me smile piece that was part of the six by six paper pad I'm going to use the whole six by six paper pad so I trimmed that down there's another paper in here that I'm going to use uh, as a cut apart sheet the rest of these papers I am going to just go punch crazy I'm going to punch all of these out in with my happy planner punch so I have all these different patterns even though right now I'm kind of punching and then placing them down I started that but then I, I was like this isn't gonna work and I just punch punch punched everything out next I'm gonna go ahead and grab the my tape runner and I'm gonna put some of these patterns and kind of spread them out around my spread while I do this let's talk a little bit about doing a video a day in June so this video is going to go up June 10th uh, you will have noticed that yesterday which was Sunday I released a card video I am doing a memory planner today coming up this week we have more small projects things like cards I have a mixed media swatching video coming up um, up until Saturday. Why is that? Because I got bored. I got bored making 12 by 12 layouts. It happens. This is my life. I get bored. So I've done eight 
12 by 12 scrapbook layouts in a row. Maybe seven, because I think there's an unboxing video in there. And I don't think there's any card videos yet. So seven-ish layouts in a row. And then I wanna do something different. I wanna play with a new technique. I want to do something else. <laughs> This is my life. This is my creative life. You get to see it, warts and all. I, so this was one of those things. I was, I got to, down to my schedule. It was time to do the Maggie Holmes Monday and I was not feeling a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. Um, I wanted to stretch. I wanted something different. I needed a palette cleanser. So then I went through kind of like a little, memory planner slash card kind of um, spurt, which is what you're gonna see this week. And then um, I am right now working about a week ahead. Yay, go me. So now I'm ready to get back into some layouts. Um, and I know that on this channel, like, cards are not your favorite, memory planners aren't your favorite. I know, I know, but you know what? I got bored, you guys. <laughs> I got bored. So I put in all my pattern paper, then I went through die cuts and I pulled lots and lots of labels and stickers and things I could write on. And I added all of the journaling onto those areas and now I'm coming in with a, some 6 by 12 sticker sheets because I want to use up those and you can see here off to the side I have two little piles one of those piles is all tags and labels and things I can write on and I used a ton of them because I did remember this is just week number one of four weeks. I didn't record all four of them because I know that it's not uh, everyone's favorite type of video. So I didn't keep recording. I just recorded the first one for this week's Maggie Holmes Monday and then I just kept working. I just flipped the page, flipped my functional planner, pulled it together from this amount of stash products and went with it. This is a great technique for smashing a six by six paper pad. That was the goal. The goal was I want to use all of the six by six paper pad, use it up, get it onto projects and out of here. You could do cards. You could do layouts as well. Um, as long as you add some uh, white card stock or colored card stock or craft card stock or something or pull in some pattern paper backgrounds, that works too. All good ideas. Um, also, a really great way to smash a six by six paper pad is to find a quilt design and use a quilt design as an inspiration piece. I actually have on my channel, if you are a YouTube's perks member, which the sign up for that is always the first thing in the description box. So it's $5 a month and when you sign up initially, like when you first sign up, you automatically get access Close to, to 100 exclusive members only videos. One of those is a little mini class called Quilters Vibe, where I take a quilting, uh, a quilting design, a quilting um, pattern, and I translate it right into art, uh, a scrapbook page, and that would be fabulous for smashing a six by six paper pad. That was the point of my little ramble here, sorry. Couldn't help myself. All right, so I have all my journaling done. I've added some stickers and some clusters, and now I did pull in one of my Simple Stories sticker books, um, and I actually pulled in some of my Simple Stories sticker books throughout all four of the weeks that I did because they have things like little tile letter stickers. When I got to the fourth week, I didn't have much left in the way of journaling spots, like labels and things, so I pulled in some from my sticker books so that worked really, really well. Uh, but 
I am just gonna keep going on here. Now, I have some open spaces. Here's the thing with me in the memory planner. I don't like open spaces. Um, I, I want the my weeks to look full and interesting. I want there to be lots of stuff in these weeks that you can look at, lots of little bits and pieces. So um, once I kind of use as many of the stickers as I think I can use, I'm gonna come in with just some Brutus Monroe Detail Raven Black Ink, and I'm coming in with a collection of different stamps that I thought I would really enjoy. After looking at all of the elements on this page, I decided to go with stamping with black ink. This spread has this like really cool, funky, eclectic look going on it and I love it, love it. I think it turned out so good, but it's very, it has all these color colors, but the colors are all like kind of like muted and dark. There's like this old vintagey green in there running through and, and I just wanted to kind of maybe make those colors pop a bit more and I feel like using just black ink really helped that to happen. I don't know why, but whenever I look at this spread in my memory planner, it just reminds me of when I was a little girl and we would go to my great grandmother's house. I, I don't know why that was the memory that came into my head as I was creating this, but that's just kind of like the feel and the, the vibe and the aesthetic that this particular week has got going on with it. And I think it turned out really, really well. I really, really love it. This floral flower stamp is from Sarah Bargo. Um, it's an old, I've had this stamp set for a long time. I used to have a subscription before she stopped having, before she stopped doing her stamp subscriptions. Um, but I, I thought that this flower was just perfect. Having the three of them in a little visual triangle kind of pulled this whole layout together. And I love, love, love how it turned out. So here is the finished spread. Be sure to head down to the description box. Check out Crystal's video. Crystal always plays along with me for Maggie Holmes Monday. She's so amazing and she, she will do a layout, I'm sure, and I'm sure it will be stunning and awesome because they all are. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. I will talk to you all again very soon. And I have a challenge for you this week. Let's grab a six by six paper pad and smash it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. And I will talk to you later.